Oh hi, you're back. So if this is your first time tuning into Post in a Diary Room, welcome to Post in a Diary Room and I am the boy Postman. And if you want to find me on Instagram, I go by the name of Postman on TikTok at the boy Postman. And as well as Twitter, it's at the boy Postman. So without wasting any more time, let's just get into today's review. So as you may know, every day is a good day to get a delivery from the Postman. And today's delivery is called Breathe. So Breathe is an album by a guy called Mafia ZA and he dropped this project on the 13th of January 2023. It features the likes of Flacky J, Bruce Malachi, as well as a guy known as Roman Cigar. So without wasting any more time, let's just get into the review. The song on this project is titled Breathe In. And on Breathe In, Mafia ZA opens the song up with a prayer. And he's just thanking God for the gift of life. Thanking God for everything that he's done for him during the course of his life. But then the prayer just takes a quick short lift where mafia za begins to become a bit vile you know with these words you know he tells god that you know god i'm about to fuck up the game and you're gonna have to forgive me da, 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 da. you know it made me question because i think for me it made the the listening a bit more uncomfortable because i myself i am a christian a firm believer of god you know and i didn't know what to expect anymore because i was a bit uncomfortable during the intro but Generally, the mode of the song is really fast. It's really high. Uh, there's a trap beat full of 808s, you know, and Mafia ZA is just telling us about niggas that have had problems with him. And in true rapper fashion, he just calls himself the greatest of all time. But what's also alarming for me was the fact that I, I sense a lot of Aries influence as far as like maybe the way he's rapping, you know, like the, the, the cadence uh, the flow, um, how he, you know, how he actually sounds is, is, is like, I could tie it down to like a lot of Aries, you know, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's like a coincidence, but Aries is like one of the biggest artists in South Africa. So I doubt that's a coincidence. So I think for me, I just picked that up and he just sounds like Aries in, in this particular song. And I think generally in, in, in the whole entire album, he just sounds exactly like Aries. <laughs> So on the song Missing, Mafia ZA lets us into his own world, you know, and just lets us know that he's been feeling a bit patronized of late and he's, he's got too much going on in his mind. But also the song itself has a nice hook. There's a nice abstract sample where he's just singing over it, you know, and I think in this song it just sounds really nice and he urges us to walk in his shoes just to see how the world looks. Uh, I don't know what he means by that. So he said he's urging us generally to just walk in his shoes just to see the world through his eyes generally so that's what he basically meant as far as that's concerned and then the next song is titled wave so on the song wave we're now introduced to a brand new sound it's like a bass guitar he's singing and you know this is a song where he's just feeling a bit macho you know he's feeling a bit macho he's like you know he's feeling himself on the song because he calls himself the hardest rapper in the country da 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 you know and the song itself is very rich in strings you know and I, I just, I, I could just sense a, a lot of, uh, there's a 50 cent, the, this, 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 the beat in the song is like a 50 cent type beat, you know, because there's like a, a general bounce to it where it allows him to be a bit, you know, cocky, it allows him to be a bit, to, to like feel himself, you know, to just, you know, allow us to also jam to, to the song itself, you know, so there's a new sound here, there's like a bass guitar, so I think at this point in the album, we had three tracks in, and already we are a bit lost as far as like maybe the sonics are concerned and also the fluidity of the storytelling. So now, speaking of sounds, we also have a lo-fi beat, you know, like there's a lo-fi beat, you know, the beat has a lo-fi feel to it, you know, it's rich in chords, strings, you know, and it features Roman Cigar. So Roman Cigar is a guy that I've been aware of in for like a long time, but I've just never been tapped into his music. He's a great rapper. But also, yeah, Mafia ZA is singing and he's singing about a girl that he can't love. Like, this girl is like more or less bad for his energy, you know. And whenever he chooses to love her, it's like really a painful kind of love, if you understand what I'm saying. So, he's been writing love letters like a simp. You know, here is just, you know, opening up about the, the this girl that he he can't love anymore because he can't necessarily match her energy because she's like toxic for him, you know, all of that stuff. So Roman Cigar comes on and raps about how he he's a problem like Newton and how he moves alone and how moving alone makes him 
a bit more dangerous you know i don't know what he means by that because i think there's like a lot of rapper talk these days where rappers are just feeling a lot more dangerous because they like now move alone because i mean in most cases these people don't even have ops at all you know and but it's cut it's, it's it's just like a part of the artistry and I, I genuinely respect that because i think thematically both men were just doing their own thing there's no specific theme in this song but i just feel like roman cigar could have just given us a bit more substance as far as his verse goes come through is a song that features flaky j but to be honest i don't understand the kind of contribution flaky j had in this song because this song is more or less straightforward because yeah mafia z is just it's a really short song where mafia z is just telling us about this girl and they were i think the producers of the song were just quite experimental with the equal uh the equalizers because yeah there's just a lot of play as far as maybe that goes and he's his voice is sounding a bit more different um you know uh, yeah i just don't understand the kind of influence flaky j had in the song because i don't think it was necessary because i just feel like mafia zeli could have handled this song on his own because this song is like generally short unless maybe they opened up a, a slot for him just to lay a verse or do whatever he needed to do because Generally I don't see his influence in the song whatsoever. And then there's there's a song called Oh No. So Oh No is a song that's more or less string rich has a lot of hi hats, it's a trap beat, high in tempo, you know, and it's a vibey joint. So generally I just feel like maybe this is where the album could have, you know, started, you know. And this is maybe the 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 song that could have helped maintain this specific album, you know. It's a vibey joint, you know, you're trying to not think about a specific girl. Uh, what i can confirm is that this is like a talk of a girl in this specific album there's a girl and i think this girl hurt him and he keeps mentioning this girl you know and i think it's really therapeutic of him to just make mention of this girl a lot of times but also it's also important to note that the aries influence is still alive on the song oh no <laughs> so there's a song called bipolar confessions on this project and bipolar confessions is arguably the worst song on this project like yeah i think it's it's one of those songs that were not really necessary like it, by the time i got to this song i was wondering what are we doing here you know and this song has elements of rock like what i mean by elements of rock there's like a punch there's like loudness you know have the strings you know there's like you know So the song itself in itself is really busy and I think in this sense we are now making we're now listening to TV music you know and I think the song is as good as with is as good without or the beat itself is as good without his vocals because I don't think these vocals were really necessary yeah like you know it's like I, I, I I'm not really going to listen to a rock song and want to hear what Mafia Z has to say you know I think generally speaking honestly speaking I, I don't think the song is really Uh it was necessary. I don't think the song is necessary because yeah, he's just telling us about how he's been trying to be happy, you know, as he mentions his demons and he's been working a bit too late of late like trying to make the music work and he just touches on that. But generally I, I don't think um really interested because now at this point I'm like my attention is caught by this beat and I'm not really interested in hearing whatever it is that he wants to say because now the fluidity of the entire album has been tarnished because we now have a rock beat suddenly like I, i just don't understand why he did that and then there's a song called days days on the song days there's, there's a piano sample there you know he says he's used to pain the rainy days you know like he's just braggadocio the, the the beat is dope and i think the beat itself just suits the kind of rapper he wants to become like i think the beat suits his style I think the whole song suits his style there's like percussions and he's just full of himself in this beat you know there's a low tempo and he's just like talking shit generally you know and I guess man um yeah and I, I don't know he he's just shitting on light skins I guess was he shitting on light skins I don't know cuz I too myself I'm light skin uh, I didn't necessarily take offense but yeah I think the song days is a bit better than bipolar confessions and I think if maybe he sticks to the sound that he he was on on days then maybe something could have, there's something there there's something there you know and I, i just think he must just quit this rock thing that he had going on here yeah so the last song on this project like out of the nine tracks it's called 
breathe out. So you can imagine throughout this whole review, I was basically holding my breath in and breathe out is a song that genuinely features a, a guy called Bruce Malach. And I think his name is cool, eh? Bruce Malach, you know, and it's like, it's a breast filled song. And, you know, Mafia ZA just sings about someone who doesn't know him like that, you know, and there's a lo-fi influence here. And he also even mentions that like his biggest fear is being overrated, you know, and <laughs> there's a skit finally, um, maybe towards the end of the song, there's a skit of someone who I think this person is sounding rather heartbroken or someone is like breaking his heart or like someone it's a skit of someone who broke his heart rather or like a voice note of someone who broke his his heart earlier in the year then maybe my assumption uh, as far as that goes it may be that it's it could be that girl that he keeps making mention of you know and yeah I, generally this was a five out of ten kind of project and the five is just out of the composition of the project you know and i just feel like the the, the subject matter could have had a bit more depth and maybe uh the beat selection as well they could have been more cohesive which it was not and i just feel like he needs to shy away from the a reese influence and maybe focus on the sound here going on the song days you know and generally i don't think he's a bad rapper but the project itself is sounding sonically imbalanced it doesn't have a linear flow you know so i just feel like if you could work on that and just shy away from sounding like aries man i mean again it's my opinion anyway it shouldn't matter um i'm just doing what i do because i just love music but if you can just shy away from the aries influence you know maybe cut down in the aries you know and just focus on trying to knit a, a project that has a start a middle and an end you know like a project that's like cohesive you know a project that's like well structured because uh some songs on this project like bipolar confessions they were really unnecessary you know like why are we having rock on a hip-hop album you know and i'm not saying it's wrong to do that but like can it at least make sense you know can can there be a link that maybe links the 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 song being there like maybe a bridge that takes us to the song called bipolar confessions or rather you know and i just think he's a great artist great potential he just needs to work on that and uh, i just think maybe with, with time and with him practicing finding his own sound you know finding how he like redefining his own cadence then maybe he'll run game really soon and i don't have any doubt that he doesn't have the capabilities. He does have the qualities of being a great rapper because he is a great rapper, actually. And to put out a project like this, I, I think generally the project just sounds like a mixtape rather than, uh, you know, if if maybe he called it a mixtape, I would have forgave him. But uh, for an album, it's not sounding that good. And um, back to the drawing board for Mafia ZA. And I think the project itself was not so good. But he's so good and he just needs to work on a couple of things as far as compiling a project is concerned. So from your boy Postman, so please kindly like, share, subscribe, engage with the content, do whatever is necessary. And I think I'm done for the day and um, I'll see you on the next one.